So let us uh, look at this uh, classic problem on uh, pendulum. So the idea is to derive the periodicity. So just to give you a bit of history, uh, Galileo first observed the, in 1632 observed the periodicity of the pendulum motion. Uh, but then it was uh, Huygens in uh, 1673 who derived the formula for the uh, classic formula for the period of the pendulum. In other words, uh, the period being uh, 2 pi L over G. L being the length of the pendulum and G is the gravitational constant. And then later, uh, Euler in 1736 or around that time, came up with uh, 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 corrections onto the periodicity, <coughs> in other words, to the period in terms of elliptic integrals. And these are the corrections that we are going to uh, look at today. Uh, and the treatment is as described by Landau. Lots of people, almost everybody has worked on the pendulum. Uh, what we are going to uh, go over the is the uh, take by Landau. Uh, so that's why the title, the symbol pendulum as described by Landau. So this uh, pendulum swings the way I have drawn. It goes to the, uh, when it is at rest here, it makes a maximum swing of theta naught and so if uh, at any point in time if you call the angle to be theta then Landau uses the energy considerations uh, to derive the periodic, uh, period of the pendulum. So the total energy is the sum of the kinetic energy plus the uh, potential energy. So you figure out the two, uh, you add up the figure and uh, the two components at any time, arbitrary time instant t, and also uh, at some other time instant, either here or here. And from the total conservation of energy, the total energy is the same at uh, any time instant. So <laughs> this is going to be uh, half m l squared d theta by dt because l d theta is the velocity so half m v squared uh, minus half m g l cos theta the potential energy component uh, along uh, at that point where it is marked uh, theta so this is corresponding to time instant t and this we are if you look at some other time instant when it comes to the one of the extreme points, this is going to be uh, minus mgl cos theta naught, the maximum value. So from here we can solve for d theta by dt. So d theta by dt squared is, uh, notice that m cancels out, so <laughs> 2g over L squared. So M cancels out, 1 L goes away, and you have NL, and this is uh, cos theta minus cos theta naught. And if you write cos theta as uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared theta by 2, this becomes 2G by L. Uh, sine squared theta naught by 2 minus sine squared theta by 2. Consequently, we can, we can pull out sine theta naught 2 outside and this reads now
Uh, so the, <coughs> this will be 4 here. And uh, this becomes now half uh, L over G. So you get this expression. In other words, you pull out sine theta not to squared, uh, flip the equi uh, flip, uh, flip the identity, and uh, solve for dt. So multiplied by d theta. In other words, uh, if <coughs> so, this is the whole period. So from here to here, that will be t by four. So you could write a t by four quarter of the period to be this and we integrate on both the sides. So this is going to be a half L over G L over G one over sine theta naught by two integral as uh, so during this time the theta goes from zero to theta naught. And here you have uh, this expression, 1 minus sine theta by 2 over sine theta naught by 2 squared d theta. So this is where we make uh, this uh, uh, to be, we are going to substitute this to be sine phi. And so if you substitute uh, sine phi to be uh, sine theta by 2 over sine uh, uh, theta naught by 2, then its derivative cos phi d phi is going to be half cos theta by 2 uh, d theta over sine theta naught by 2. So consequently, if I substitute this new variable, we get t by 4 is half square root of L over G, 1 over sine theta naught by 2. And uh, integral, notice that uh, when theta is 0, sine 0, and when theta is, uh, uh, theta is theta naught, this is 1, that's pi by 2, so the upper limit is pi by 2. And the d theta from here is going to be 2 sine theta naught by 2 from here, multiplied by cos phi, multiplied by d phi over 1 minus uh, sine squared phi. d phi. So notice that sine theta naught cancels and uh, so sine theta naught one minus one minus cos squared also uh, so this is uh, this is going to be cos phi, so cos phi cancels with the cos phi. And uh, so from here, there is all, so this is going to be cos phi, that cancels. So this cancels with this, and I left out this cos theta by 2 here. So there is a cos theta by 2 here. So this now translates as t by 4. And this two also cancels. So we could simply write a t, the period to be 4 multiplied by L over G, integral 0 to pi by 2, uh, d phi over cos theta, uh, d phi over 1 minus uh, cos squared 
uh, co co cos theta by 2. This I'm going to write it as 1 minus uh, sine squared theta by 2 square root. But on the other hand, sine theta by 2 is uh, from here. So this is 1 minus sine squared theta by 2. But sine theta by 2 is uh, sine theta naught by 2 multiplied by sine phi. I'm going to call this to be a constant k. So k is going to be sine theta naught by 2. So notice that k is less than 1. So this uh, period now reads as 4 L over G integral 0 to pi by 2 uh, d phi over square root of 1 minus uh, k squared sine squared phi d phi. And uh, this is the formula in terms of the elliptic integral. So we have expressed the period of the pendulum in terms of the elliptic integral of the second kind. So this is the elliptic integral of the second kind. Now we can give a quick expression for this uh, elliptic integral. Uh, so this now reads t equal to 4 square root of L over g integral 0 to pi by 2 1 over square root of 1 minus, let's say, in k squared sine squared theta d theta. And if you expand a binomial expansion, this now reads minus half. So we could, uh, because this is of the form 1 minus x to the power minus half, so that's minus half. A general term is going to be summation n equal to 0 through infinity <coughs> n minus n minus 1, etc., up to let's say lowercase n terms over lowercase n factorial to the power k to the power 2n sine to the power. Uh, 2 and theta d theta uh, minus because minus k squared. So this of course can be written as 4 L over g summation n equal to 0 through infinity and if you pull out these minuses they cancel with this minus 1 to the power uh, n. So this is actually minus k squared to the power n. So this now reads 1, 3, you can see from here, 1, 3, 5, etc. up to 2n minus 1. Then you have 2 to the power n, n factorial, k to the power 2n, integral 0 to pi by 2, sine to the power 2n theta d theta. But this is a standard expression. This, if you do this, so this is 4 L over G, summation n equal to 0 through infinity, 1, 3, 5, etc., 2 and minus 1. And then this you can write 2, 4, 6, etc., up to 2 and right, because uh, just by multiplying. And this actually has exactly the identical form. So this is 1, 3, 5, etc., 2 and minus 1. You just need to do it. And this is 2, 4, 6, etc., 2n to the power k to the power 2n. Uh, so in particular, this means uh, t is equal to uh, 4 over square root of L over g. And uh, I, I believe at this here, there is also a pi by 2. Uh, so 2, 2 cancels. So this becomes uh, 2 pi L over G. Then the parenthesis, if you want, we can write this as 1 plus half squared K squared plus 
what multiplied by 3, 2, 4? Because this is exactly the same as this. Uh, squared k4 plus 1, 3, 5, uh, 2, 4, 6, squared k6 uh, plus etc. Now, if you substitute for k, remember k is uh, sine theta naught by 2. Uh, so sine theta naught is of course 1 minus uh, or uh, theta naught by 2 minus uh, theta naught by 2 whole cubed over 3 factorial uh, plus etc. Uh, so k squared is going to be the square of this is going to be the square of this which is going to be uh, theta naught to the power 4, uh, theta naught squared over 4 multiplied by 1 plus etc. So if you substitute this into the T, so this will give us 2 pi uh, square root of L over G. Multiplied by 1 plus 1 over 4 uh, from here, uh, theta naught squared by 4 plus uh, theta not 4 over 48 plus etc. So which ultimately gives you roughly, uh, if I keep a few terms, this is going to be 1 plus theta not squared over 16. Uh, plus 67, if you work out all the details, over 2304 theta naught 4 plus etc. So, which will uh, so this is so if you uh, uh, this is the uh, elliptic uh, correction to the total period. So generally we just see the first term two pi multiplied by l over g. So the first correction term is going to be whatever is the maximum angle divided by sixteen uh, plus uh, terms involving l four etc. Uh, terms involving theta to the power four etc. So this is one uh, simple uh, also illustration of how the elliptic integral uh, comes into the periodicity of the uh, of the pendulum.